All right, everyone, I'm going to start scanning up uh, all the loose cards uh, that were found in several of these boxes. Um, there's a lot to go through. Um, first of all, I am trying out a new scanner uh, uh, app. It's called Mana Box. Uh, I've been using it for a little while. I find it to be a little more reliable than the TCG Player app. Um, it has some, some pretty decent features. I'm going to throw it up here real quick. Um, so I'm in the scan function. Um, you can do things like set to, to scan as foil. You can play the sounds. You can display the total value at the top. Um, there's a collection mode. You can add things to a collection. Um, keep track of them there. Um, I guess we start with the home there. So we got some news and stuff down there. Uh, <clears throat> search feature has a lot of filters and things like that. Um, in the settings somewhere, I don't know where I had done it before, but somewhere in the settings you can set the pricing to different pricing sources um, instead of just the TCG player, which is what the TCG player app would use, right? So I currently have the my scanning set to be Card Kingdom buy list price. I'm actually going to um, show these prices off, uh, prices off as what they would actually be. Um, realized um, sent to the to the card king and buy list um, so they'll be a little lower than what I have shown in the past which is probably a little closer to reality for my current situation where I really just need to kind of sort these and flip them I just don't have time to maximize all of it the bigger hits um, I would definitely not um, send those right to the buy list I'd probably try to do them a little uh, better something like eBay or whatever um, so that's what it is right now um, I'm going to go ahead and get into um, starting to scan this. I don't have a whole lot of time right this second, but I'm going to at least get started. And let's start with this first box. Um, this box of Rockford Fosgate. Um, uh, there's a lot of cars to go through here. Um, Previously, I had peeked in here and seen that like some of this stuff is like in it seems to be in like alphabetical order and This may be more like the commons box, but it's got to get gone through um, So we will start here. I'm gonna put the box itself over to the side so I can deal with it And begin scanning There we go. Condition wise, a lot of this stuff was played. Uh, I don't know if the guy was buying like other collections from people. Um, so you can see there's definitely like where I know I'm, I'm certain he was a player. Bing choking sands buy lists for eight cents. It's uh. I feel like it used to be worth a little bit more and of course it's kind of hard for me to tell so this is something that I would probably not try to send to the buy list and maybe a lot of this stuff will be like that I'm just gonna be kind of searching for the big hits So, oh, there we go. Now that's a keeper. Wow. Very nice. So, um, ooh. Ah, maybe there will be some, some interesting finds in here. So at the time, apparently beta commons were not, um, well, number one, they weren't very common, of course, and maybe they weren't very well regarded, but those are definitely keepers for me. Let's, let's actually scan those. From here, got to go to the list. I'm learning this. Then you switch it to, oh my gosh, limited edition beta, save. It's a little bit extra to do that, and there's actually two of them. So 
I don't know exactly if I'm going to be super precise with this because it takes quite a bit to go through and edit this stuff. But there we go. 40 bucks. Minus condition. Uh, but that's a buy list price. And um, honestly, like beta cards, I might actually keep. But um, we're going to put it there for now.
Okay, back again. Here is the next box, which is full of stuff here. I just want to show you, like, this is kind of how I found it here. Um, the side of this box is marked play. Um, so perhaps this is what um, the original owner was using to make decks to play with. So um, it kind of looked more like bulk storage to me, but we'll get into it and see. Hey, now that's a good one. Show and tell. Um, used to be quite a bit. It's actually been reprinted a bunch now, but that's a, it's a pretty cool card. 23 bucks. So yeah, it's still, uh, that's the buy list on it. So it's still up there. So that's a good hit right there. Brainstorms, I'm not gonna scan them. Hercules recall, hey, copy artifact, that's good. Nice recall. Copy artifact. Deck B card four. Twenty-seven dollars. Well, I'll put that back in the sleeve. It's like in great shape actually. That's a creature. It's a pretty good creature, actually. And these are in sleeves. Lord of Atlantis. Revised. They're like four bucks. One, two, three of those. Okay. Ooh, that one's good. Merchant Scroll is good. Palancrone. Now that's a nice card right there. Uh, pretty good shape, like light play. Summon Illusion. When it comes into play, untap up to seven lands, and you can then uh, pay to return it. So this is gonna be uh, infinite on its own. So 16 bucks for the palancrone there. I think maybe I'll put it here.
flip flip some more well that's good right there okay there's hope for this yet okay so Aluren 22 bucks on the buy list definitely got some play on it Hermit Druid is a rare, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's 11 bucks. Tap to reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a basic land card. Put that card into your hand and all other reveal cards into your graveyard. So you totally fill your graveyard with this guy. That's great. And it's going to go here, actually.
We've got a unlimited righteousness, which is a rare. Buys or unlimited. Twelve bucks. Hey, there we go. Enlightened Tutor. So, like, just over the years, like, I, I always find the tutors because that's the stuff that must have been nothing too exciting back in the day. So they left them in these bulk boxes, but now they're worth something. So, good to see that. <clears throat> I'm surprised I didn't see a Worldly Tutor in the green box. Serene offering destroy target enchantment. There's a unlimited Sarah Angel. A couple of them, that's great. Game life equal to that. So unlimited Sarah Angel. It's played. $32 for the unlimited Sarah Angels. Well, there are uh, a few of these. Hold on. More than one in there? Oh, it is. It's just they're like stuck together. So, okay. Well, that's a nice little find. Gosh, like these old sleeves are just stuck in there. I want to get them out of there. Gosh, don't wreck it. There we go. Sarah Angel Unlimited for thirty bucks a piece, and that's a buy list price. Yeah, you know, minus the condition, so that's pretty solid. Soul ring, but it's pretty beat up. Yeah, very, very heavy play on that. But it would be six something. Irrigation ditch. All right, well, that was the end of that box. 
still trying to get that ivory cup out of there. Um, I don't know. It's in there, but I can't get to it, so. Okay, I got the ivory cup out. I use a paper clip to grab the sleeve. <laughs> uh, and now the sleeve is like so tight in there. Hold on. <clears throat> it's been there for a long time. There we go. Yep, ivory cup. I think it's a common? Uncommon. Beta, seven bucks, minus quite a bit of condition, but there it is. All right. Hakeem, oh, there's an unlimited gin. A little bit. The unlimited gin buy lists for thirty-two fifty. All right. Necromancy. This one always stops me too. It's not Necropotence, but it's better than I remember. Great. 11 bucks each for Necromancy. You mean choose to play Necromancy as an instant if you do bury it at the end of the turn. When you play Necromancy, choose target creature card in the graveyard. When Necromancy comes into play, put that creature into play as though it were just played and necromancy becomes a creature enchantment that targets the creature if necromancy leaves play bury the creature cool so it's like a you could flash evoke a creature out of your graveyard which would be great for like an attractor or something that's cool all right cool Oh, look at this. Reanimate. That's an uncommon. So, got left in here. Cool. 
couple of bucks. Reanimate Reckless Spite. Add to collection, the storage collection. There we go. It's in there. So currently that collection is sitting at 662, it says. So there's your update. Until next time. Okay, scanning continues. Um, the scanner says zero, but hopefully we're showing the running total here let's go Def something blue options for each alphabetically sorted some lands blue mana generation island okay Thought last, that's actually good. So here we got three thought lashes, six fifty a piece. There we go. Lands and artifact, odd. Lands and artifact, odd. Lands, good. All right, let's find out, are lands good? Here's artifacts, and looks like got some of these rule books and things. Get the Ice Age, got a, maybe a revised or fourth edition this one's going back a little ways too so I don't know anyone interested in these kind of things I have now quite a few of them and I'm not sure if that's really what people are after artifacts let's see here these are odd ones apparently
It's soaring. Okay. Well, that's good. Revise soaring. Six bucks. The sword is a rare. All right. So we've got some. We've got one Urza's Mind, and here's some newer power plants and stuff. The Antiquities version. Good shape. And of course, there's 50 different versions. The Antiquities. Dollar eighty. Yeah, good. There's some more antique. Oh my gosh. Whoop. Let's go. <laughs> Hold up. Let's get to that in a second here. Okay, that's very exciting. That's so bizarre that all these boxes are full of commons, and all of a sudden there's tropical islands popping out of here. All right, there's this power plant. Excitement. The mine. <laughs> there it is. That's that's great. Uh, yeah. This is. That's an unlimited, and then here's a revised for, for reference right there. Yeah, you can see the. I always go by the justification on the text. Kicked over to the left past the interior frame, the border there, is unlimited. Kicked over to the right, like parallel to the border is revised uh, definitely you see the coloration difference the unlimited is uh, much more colorful there's no tap symbol in the uh, the text there counts as both forest and island totally different so um, pretty decent shape I would say I don't know moderate play some people might say heavy play the front looks good because you can't really see a little little dings and scratches in there. So the revised version, three hundred eighty-five bucks. Oh my gosh! Yep. Okay, I'm loving this little stack right here. Um, let's change that. Unlimited edition, six hundred and sixty dollars. Buy list. You know, then minus condition on that. We're then going to do the uh, revised version here. We've got uh, three of those. Well, that makes a big difference on the uh, my total there. These are kind of like light play on that one. That one's pretty nice. Gosh, I better put these back in the sleeve so they don't get any worse, right? Yeah. Moderate play, sure. Well, thanks for stopping by, folks. Oh, we're not done yet. So this is... What, was, what did that say? That this was the Lands Good box. I get it. I would have to agree. Revised Volcanic Island. That's definitely like old school played right there. A little heavy play action. Let's see if it'll scan through there. Yep, 510. Revised Volcanic Island. And we've got an unlimited coming up. So the towers, there they are. Excitement. <laughs> I think I'll just throw them onto there. Unlimited uh, Volcanic Island. That says that Card Kingdom buy list will give me $1,140 for that. In near mint, it's definitely not. It's definitely played here. You can see the edge wear on that. Um, so yeah, I mean, knock 20, 30% off. Or I could just throw this on eBay and hope for the best, which is what kind of really my normal style for something large like this um, or put them in the safe and wait for them to potentially go up even more and then there's a tundra that one's in pretty bad shape it looks like power plant I guess I'll scan them it keeps wanting to scan the chronicles yeah antiquities bug a couple bucks there 
Tundra. Uh, revised Tundra, not very good shape at all. I mean, it's it's not damaged. It's a little bendy there, but it, you can't really feel it. 320 for that. Power plant and another Tundra. All right. I mean, at this point, putting the rock in the pot on for a dollar versus another Tundra. That was a little better shape. Bling. Tower. Mine. Something else. Border. White border coming up. I think I'm just going to throw these on. It's not going to even matter at this point. Another Tundra. And another Tundra. Bling. So. There's two right here. There's a tower and volcanic island number three. And an underground sea. Yes. Thank you very much. Lands box. So this island's in really good shape, actually. Got some little light play to it. Very light, in fact. 500. Underground seas. 555. Another one. Another power plant. Oop. You know, it doesn't like to scan them like the TCG player app does. It wants to. Since it's already showing down below. Power plant. Rock in the pot. Nope, that's not the rock in the pot. Doesn't matter. Three bucks. Two big thumbs up for a ton of dual lands. Um, so, I, I don't know if you caught earlier in the video, I did mention that there were uh, revised duels in a binder. We have not gotten to the binder yet. This is the precursor to it. I'm, I'm really starting to feel like this was two collections. Um, I believe that the person who owned this had a brother. And uh, they may have been playing together. All right, there we go. On to the rest of the box, which maybe this is what is gonna be the odd stuff. Let's see what that entails. Snow-covered forests. I think at this point, like, I don't even really need to scan all of these. I'm just gonna kinda go through them. Yeah, they're, they're very well played. I'm just gonna throw them right on to you there.
something. Even for a common. Here we go. Uh, this is pretty good for uh, Legends card, Chain Lightning. Yep, four bucks for we got three of those. When I, pretty good for a Legends Common, we'll put it that way. No Final Fortune, which was rare, so I guess you wouldn't expect it to be here. Fork! Well, that's a rare. Um, I always thought this card was, like, super great, but it's... Which, apparently, it still is pretty great, so there we go. That's a good hit right there. Throw it back in the sleeve, actually. It was in the binder, it says. various puzzle box okay so these are kind of good artifacts here Jalem tome to fairies puzzle box and a scroll rack okay puzzle box will be the right version here visions Three bucks. Now, scroll rack, I mean, this card was up to, like, I don't know, 75, 80 bucks at one point. It got reprinted. Um, yep, Commander Legends reprint. Tempest version, still 17 bucks. That is good. The The best artifacts are, are coming through here. Ensnaring Bridge, those are good. Arkham Slay. And Snaring Bridge. We got two of these. Eight bucks each. Um, oops, no, these are right. Just need to put an extra one on there. What else we got? Man, I want to. There's some, definitely some great possibilities for artifacts. This art, man, this one gets me every time. Because it's the same artist as a lion's eye diamond I mean, we're going from E to M here do we do we get an LED in here scroll staff of the ages not quite so Arkham's whistle Arkham had all kinds of little gadgets huh The Black Vice. I think it was going to go here. Oh, there we go. It's a Beta Black Vice. It's pretty bad Kate, uh, shape, though. Beta Black Vice. Looks like it got put in the Black Vice. Let's just see what it could have been. I mean, this would be 110 bucks. Not in good shape. Um, I would say that's probably bent enough to where you would feel it and call it damage. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll eBay it for damage and see if anyone wants to give me anything for it. That's how, that's 
how that's gonna go. Some labels. Grab bag prize. Okay. Oh. Okay. That was the grab bag prize. Alright, well that's good. Um yeah, there's just one in there. Grab bag prize. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I wonder if we can see it through here. It wants to see the plastic, so I gotta get it out. Revised plateau. Played. 200 bucks. Alright, that's pretty good for a grab bag prize. That's funny, man. There's another grab bag prize. Could it be? Alright, we got a Savannah. No way. That's cool. That's in good shape, actually. That first glance one. That's good. 200 for that as well. Any more grab bag stuff? Man. Let's grab it up.
Installer. Mind Twist. Another Unlimited Sarah Angel. Mind Twist. Two something. So, yeah, this, this was pretty good when I found the other ones before, right? 26 bucks. Regrowth. All right. Revised. Unlimited. Will of the Wisp. Wow, 48 bucks it says. Got a little play on it. Take it. There's no swords. White out. I can't keep track of what Ice Age rares or uncommons are. Tangle Kelp, and I know we looked at these, right, but... Actually, a little bit warp artifact. This is a rare. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Eight bucks? Wow. Yeah, this one's got like a little wavy to it. It's not much, but it's uh. It's pretty good, actually. I don't, know, I don't know. You see, like, there's a little... Yeah, there's, like, a little bendy to it there. Binder bend, so... I don't know what... 385 minus condition. <laughs> okay, that's great. Another Armageddon. I'm going to put this one back in the $8 sleeve, actually. That's crazy. Armageddon, something like that. Altar of Bone, this is a good card out of Ice Age. I mean, more or less. So look, it's, I just wanna show you guys, this, this is how they're still in this box, right? Wrapped up in bags. Stacked with some kind of sorting. So there's still like mystery left in here. That's kind of funny. since there twiddle a beta twiddle that's an alpha twiddle actually wow okay yeah the corners are definitely rounder let's see if that is exciting 36 bucks for a common it's uh, definitely played but it can go back in the sleeve another wrath of God All right, everyone, it is time to get into this binder, um, the progressive binder. This is what I saw in the storage unit that made me want to spend all of my money um, to get, so time to get into it. Let's see, we've got some pages that were printed to try to build a uh, 
collection. Let's see here. General Tharkild, I think. Order of something or another. Oh, here's a li list of stuff. Looks like the Dark Eater of the Dead, Arborea Reincarnation. That's. Is that from the Dark? I don't know. Concordant Crossroads, that is. Autumn Willow, Inferno. Joven's Tools. All itemized. Two Nightmares at $7. Regrowth. Jokel Hops. Yeah, so. Making lists. Trying to get a hold of cards to uh, build a collection. Chaos Comics. All about books and comics. I used to go there when I was uh, much younger here in Phoenix, Arizona, actually. So, uh, What is this? Printed. They're like stuck. Hold on. There's the list. Photocopied pages. Is this what was actually in here? Because this, I mean, they're set up like a binder. Interesting. Well, okay. It says here, traded for granite gargoyle. We did find a granite gargoyle in there somewhere. All right, let's see if we can get into this here. Um, I may not pull everything out of here, but the ones that are interesting, like Rainbow Veil, vale, I believe, is pretty much the best card out of Fallen Empires. Um, maybe look, 10 bucks. That's about the, the last I saw of it. Two bucks on the buy list, so that was 10 bucks was like a full... TCG player price at one point, I think. Um, yeah, so we've got an unlimited savannah with something else behind it and then the other side as well Whew. one unlimited and two revised savannas great unlimited savannah five hundred dollars you played Got some edge wear to it. And then uh, a couple of revised. Also played. Wow. Pretty heavy play on that one. This one's actually pretty nice, actually. Okay. What was this they got on the other side? The Monsoon. I'll check that one. It's a rare from Ice Age. Now we got Scrublands. Uh, yeah, amazingly, these have more than one. There are five Scrublands right there. Whew. Look at that. Definitely played. This one's got to be a crease. Like, I don't know how well that'll go. It's definitely damaged. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to scan it anyway. 230 5 awesome all right uh, then this one nature's blessing was on the other side of that nothing big there plateaus five of those all revised all played. Adding up real quick here, this one page. On the other side of the plateaus, Altar of Bone. Yeah, that's actually pretty decent for an Ice Age card. A buck fifty. Next up, Tropical Island. Just one. Great shape. That one's like 
Near Mint. Very, very cool. 385. And then what was on the other side? Tagas. Tagas? There's an unlimited. What do you guys say? Taga? Taiga? Unlimited 500, right? There it is. And then we'll do the revised then. Oops, it doesn't like to see it, so. Wait for that thing to go away, then I can scan again. Come on, go away, there we go. 200 and some for those, okay. So those are on the other side. What else is on this side? Ooh. Those are on there. Uh, okay. So that was actually this one here. Bayou's. Th uh, four revised Bayou's. In uh, pretty nice shape. Those are all, yeah, light to medium play. That one's like medium play. And then an unlimited volcanic island. Definitely got play to it. Yeah, over a thousand dollars is the Card Kingdom buy list on this minus condition. Beautiful. Yeah, love the colors on it. Wow. Okay. Well, that was definitely the uh, the best page I've looked at in a long time. Storm Spirit, Storm Bind. I don't know. I might um, might not do all of these here. Yeah, it's just a full prayer. I'm gonna kind of now go through looking for stuff that I actually know is halfway decent. Here's jeweled amulet. Um, I I didn't look much further past those lands, so I don't know what else is in here. Jeweled amulet. 40 cents. Rock of Courages. It's rare. There's, look at this. Okay. What the heck? Look at this miscut on this Wheel of Fortune. It's played. Someone played it like that. Wow. Well, this card by itself is pretty good, but as a miscut, that's got to be of interest to somebody. 30th edition? No. Revised edition, 175 if it was in near mint condition on the buy list. What would that go for in the uh, the misprint groups, which I've never really gotten into it. I do have a little stack of misprints that I've found. This one has got to be the best one I've ever found as far as like potential potential interest. So that will eventually find its way to a group like that. Um, so we'll see. Uh, we've got Beta here, Disintegrate. All right, that's in great shape.
eight bucks. And then on the other side was, whoa, even better. <laughs> we had a lightning bolt, also in really nice shape. Wow, those are great. If we can, oops, better, do better than that. Here we go. 250 times three. 750 bucks. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. There's a fork. There's a bunch, apparently. It's labeled times five. There's four. Revised forks, 1850. Yes, we, we found one other one previous to this. Wow, I think I need a another pile. This is the <laughs> this is the under two hundred dollar pile right here. Concordant crossroads right here. Legends Concordant Crossroads. Chronicles is seven bucks. Legends is $65. That's great shape right there. Okay, so there's really not much to these. Drain life and weakness. Okay, those are all going to go there. Okay, this next card is this one. You see it down there? Okay. That's just one? No, there's two. Two unlimited demonic tutors. One in good shape, one in less good shape. would be 22 but these are unlimited so that makes it 44 okay pretty good two of those again that's a buy list price sometimes I forget like oh we're not we're not doing uh, full values but this is more uh, more uh, realistic so prodigal sorcerer unlimited Not enough to get excited about. There it is. Gate to Phyrexia. Three of those. 28 bucks. Three of them. There we go. Tick weeds, it's five bucks. Flip the page. Oh my gosh. That's a winner right there. Let's get that one. Um, it came with a sleeve that said $3 on it. And then there's the revised one that also says $3. There's two of those. Wow, okay. So that's in great shape. That is very nice. Okay. Revised soul rings are six bucks each. A beta soul ring is five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. 
I'll put it back in the three dollar sleeve though. You guys. A couple of soul rings from revised. Oops. Just add, there we go. I believe the hermit druid is something. Yeah, ten bucks. Back to basics from Urza Saga. So there's Saga and any lands from or artifacts? Back to basics, seven bucks. Fourteen bucks for the dream halls. Shallow Grave, a couple of those. Twenty-six dollars. Here's the buy list on Shallow Grave. Very nice. Definitely getting the Blood Man here. Chronicles Blood Man, five fifty. Ensnaring Bridge. Well, this one's good at least. 950, couple of those. Into some lands. Hey, Yavamaya Hollow. Hey, yeah, that's good. Two Yavamaya Hollows. Thirty six bucks. Works for me. A couple of those. Yeah, this thorn elemental is the only foil I found in this whole thing. Um, where there were like Urza's Destiny and Urza's Legacy and Invasion cards in here where you would think maybe there'd be some foils. And this one was so common because I think they just gave it out with boxes of starter sets or something like that that it's like nothing, nothing big to look at there. So, uh, yeah. That's funny. 
Um, anyway, that goes there. So, and then we're down to the pygmy hippo. We do have a celestial prism here from Unlimited, and it's pretty beat up. But I'm gonna put it on there. Thirty-three cents minus thirty-three cents, I think. So, but there it goes. All right, so that is going to do it for this binder. Um, what a binder it was. Like, are you kidding me? Uh, I'll go back and save the rest of this, but look at this stuff here, right? Amazing. I like that misprint. Great. So, yeah, I've, I can't even... I can't even, I don't even know what to say, so. All right, there it is, the shell-off pile. There are 36 dual lands here. Uh, some unlimited, mostly revised. Um, not many of them in great shape, uh, but they are pretty nice to have. We've got a miscut Wheel of Fortune. Let me know down below what you think of that. Uh, we've got a Beta Soul Ring that was $3 at one point. Beta Lightning Bolt. Some other beta cards, some other unlimited cards, and uh, some other nice standouts on top of a lot of cards that were in the, you know, dollar to twenty dollar range that I picked. So, anyway, that's it for this one. Um, stay tuned for the next one. We'll go through some uh, previously opened packs and see if there's anything decent left in those. And uh, talk to you later.